an object with a gravitational force that nothing can escape. Take two of them, smash them together, and bring about an astrophysical outburst, the likes of which we can barely even comprehend. This is what would happen if two black holes were to collide. Two black holes, once drifting aimlessly amongst the stars, have just collided. This collision has produced a blast powerful enough to change an entire galaxy. The force of energy is well and truly out of this world. But instead of a mushroom cloud of explosions stretching across the universe, the two black holes would merge in what would initially appear as a peaceful partnership. Only this moment of tranquility would not last long. The result of the two black holes colliding would be an enormous expulsion of energy. This energy would cause ripples in space-time. These ripples are known as gravitational waves and are some of the most violent and unpredictable forces in existence. The ripples produced by the awesome embrace of two black holes are powerful enough to change everything in our solar system. They're powerful enough to wipe us out. But hold on a minute. To really understand the significance of one black hole merging with another, we first have to understand what makes a single black hole so extraordinary. A black hole is a point in space where gravity is so powerful that nothing can escape it. This includes light. Black holes, as their name suggests, have no surface. Instead, they have a boundary. This is known as the event horizon. But on the other side of this coin, contrary to their names, black holes are not actually holes. They are huge amounts of matter condensed into a single space. Think Mary Poppins' magic bag, but of a more celestial size. Black holes are believed to be formed when a star dies. The star collapses in on itself, and as long as the remaining core is around three times larger than our sun, it transforms into a point in space with an unimaginably strong gravitational pull. Anything that dares to step inside the black hole's event horizon is then consumed by the black hole. Even if you are somehow able to maneuver as fast as the speed of light, whether it be via rocket ship or a ride on Superman's cape, once you cross the event horizon, there is no way to escape from the black hole. Imagine water draining into a sink, yet once the water passes through the drain, it does not reach the pipe. Instead, it's compressed, and it disappears forever into a void of black nothingness. There is simply no outrunning a black hole. But don't worry, there aren't any black holes wandering the galaxy sucking up anything in their path like an overexcited, oversized vacuum cleaner. We aren't about to find ourselves being pulled into an inescapable cosmic cage. In fact, even if a black hole the same size as our sun were to replace our sun, that black hole would not even have enough force to suck the Earth in. We would actually continue to orbit the black hole just as we did the sun, though this would essentially be flicking off a light switch and leaving us in the cold and dark for all eternity. Life on Earth would freeze to death soon after. Black holes are so black, they are invisible to the human eye. You need a highly advanced space telescope to have any chance of spotting one in space. Also, it's worth mentioning that this specific scenario regarding our sun taking an early retirement is entirely hypothetical. Our sun is not actually large enough to ever turn into a black hole. That's a fact that we can all be thankful for. What makes these intergalactic oddities even more fascinating is that black holes come in different sizes. Stellar black holes, the most common kind of black hole, can have up to 20 times the mass of our sun. While that sounds like an absolutely massive ball floating through space, these black holes can fit that same mass inside an area smaller than our sun. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, can have the mass of millions of suns, and unsurprisingly, they come in much larger sizes. So now we understand just how immense a black hole can be, let's get back to our cosmic collaboration between two of the most fascinating objects in our universe. Once the two black holes make contact, their intense and unbreakable gravitational pulls cause each hole to orbit the other. Matter and gas are sucked between the two, creating a whirlwind-like vortex. This mega merry-go-round could actually continue for an almost infinite amount of time. We're talking a possible billion years. But eventually, the centers of the two black holes would meet and merge into one bigger black hole. The excess energy is then cast out in an excessively violent outburst. The ripples, or gravitational waves, are cast out in every direction, at the speed of sound. These ripples are so powerful, they alter the star formations of the galaxy that the now double black hole inhabits. Albert Einstein was the first person to predict the existence of such ripples, 
though gravitational waves were not confirmed as a genuine article in 1974. That's an entire two decades after Einstein's death. Was this guy ahead of his time or what? Now, let's imagine that the two black holes in question just happened to be too close for comfort to us here on planet Earth. If two black holes were to mash together somewhere just outside of our solar system, their collision would result in the annihilation of our planet and everything on it. It would be the equivalent of taking a world map and dropping it into a shredder, and then setting those shredded pieces of paper on fire. We'd be dust in the wind, or perhaps more appropriately, dust in a gravitational wave. Luckily for us here on planet Earth, though, there are no black holes nearby that could cause such damage. It's highly unlikely that any black hole collision would have a noticeable effect on us. But what would happen if we traveled close to a black hole? Or maybe the more fitting question is, what would happen if we crossed the event horizon? Imagine you're spacewalking your way across the galaxies, and you find yourself face to face with a black hole. Theoretical physicist and cosmologist Stephen Hawking once predicted that black holes could be a passageway to another dimension, a tunnel through time. So would you take a step into an impossibly dark space subway with the hopes of finding something on the other side? If you were to cross the black hole's event horizon, you would of course have no chance of turning back. Step toward a stellar black hole, and you would be sucked toward its core at an extreme speed. The gravity would actually be so powerful that your body would begin to stretch. As you embark on your journey to the core, you would undergo a process known simply as spaghettification. Your body would be compressed and stretched so forcefully that you would quickly cease to exist. It's not all bad news though, as astronomers actually have no idea what goes on inside a black hole. As we mentioned earlier, nothing can escape from inside a black hole, and that includes information. So there is no way to investigate what goes on inside and still keep the findings of such an investigation intact. Unless, of course, Stephen Hawking was right. Perhaps your body being turned into human spaghetti is the final image your fellow space travelers would see of you in their dimension. But because space and time work differently inside a black hole, that may just be an image frozen in space-time. You, on the other hand, may just find yourself a passenger on an interdimensional journey, one that we know frighteningly little about, and one that may never actually end. As our understanding of space advances, as does our understanding of the elusive, immense objects known as black holes. Perhaps one day, we will even be able to observe what really goes on inside one.